Let's welcome in former NBA champ and coach of the year, Avery Johnson here. So let's talk about Steph Curry. Uh, needs just 16 threes to pass Ray Allen there. I do want to mention, though, he's doing it way faster than him. It took Ray Allen 1,300 games. Steph at 785 right now. So two questions. One, when do you think it happens? And two, what does this do for his legacy? Well, I don't think it's going to happen uh, tonight, but uh, it's definitely doable in two games. It's going to be so much of an emphasis, especially, you know, for the, the defenses to really double team Steph behind the three point line or really when he crosses half court to force him to give the ball up. Because once he crosses half court, obviously he's uh, within range, but I could potentially see it happening, um, you know, in the next game or two. Um, I, I don't think that's significantly important in terms of him breaking it tonight. Obviously, nothing is impossible for uh, Steph Curry. But then it continues to se secure his legacy as the greatest shooter to ever play uh, the game of basketball. Mark Jackson, his former coach, predicted this years ago. I know Steve Kerr gets a lot of the credit now. But uh, when Mark Jackson predicted this years ago, people thought, you know, he, he, he had been under the influence. But uh, Steph Curry, uh, even without Klay Thompson, his, his buddy, which they formed the best shooting backcourt in, in basketball, he's going to go down as the greatest shooter to ever grace the game in the grace these uh, NBA courts, both on the whole road and also at home now in San Francisco. You say next two games, so they host the Trailblazers on Wednesday night, and then they're at the 76ers on Saturday. So those are the next two. We'll see if it happens there. Is that, that's what Chris says as well. When it comes to MVP talk, where do you rank Steph right now? Oh, he's definitely the leader. Um, you, when you talk about, you know, what Steph has done, uh, especially, again, without Klay Thompson, and for them to be tied with the Suns for the best record, uh, in basketball, he's been really consistent. You know, he doesn't miss many games. Um, he's his best avail availability is that's your best ability is your availability. Uh, but the way he's carried this team, uh, you know, and always there to deliver big shots at the right time. You know, they kind of stubbed their their toe, you know, at home, and they weren't quite ready to play uh, uh, against San Antonio. But um, but again, this team has been a model of consistency. And that has a lot to do with Steph, you know, playing on the ball, off the ball, coming off screens. You know, Draymond Green's leadership has an, a, a huge amount to do with it. You know, uh, Jordan Poole has developed. Uh, uh, Wiggins is is playing at a very, very high level. But all, but it all, you know, Steph Curry's the head of the snake. He's the engine in the car. Uh, he's so multifaceted uh, with all of his uh, unique skill set. So uh, I, I see him as the leader by far uh, in terms of the MVP race uh, as of today in the NBA. He is leading the odds as well. Do want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.